What's up everybody, this is Kyle with All Things Automotive. Today we have a 2015 Buick Enclave Leather Edition. It is an SUV four-door. Um, it is a two-owner, no accident, um, Carfax. Well, auto check, same thing. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a walk around. It does have 61,101 miles. No, I did not make that up. It's actually a very accurate number. I'll show you when we get inside. But uh, we're gonna take a walk around here, go over the outside, take you on the inside, go over any blemishes we found, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, as you can see, it's kind of a, a crystal metallic silver uh, with some black edging um, on the inside here. Uh, it is leather inside, that's a leather package, so that's what you can expect. Um, and everything's kind of like in really good shape, um, no, no problems anywhere that I can see. Uh, you do have power seats on the, on the passenger side with lumbar support, uh, so you have those adjustments. Take a look at the back here. Got we have captain's chair. chairs and then a third row in the back, which is awesome. Um, as you can see, I mean, we got the, the, the good crystal silver outside and then uh, edged in chrome uh, with a little bit of black uh, right here with the Buick symbol in the middle, uh, but then all the inside is just all black. Uh, we do do a wrap with uh, some nice Michelin latitudes. Um, they're in great shape. I don't know if Cam wants to zoom in. Got uh, a whole lot of tread on them. I'm pretty deep in there, which is good. It is all wheel drive, um, as you can see from the button right here, or the badging. There's your all wheel drive. But the uh, backup cams right there. Here's the back. So the nice thing about these is that it's a third row. It's a legitimate three road car because you have captain's chairs in the second row. In the third row, you actually have space legroom wise. And you could fit two like adult sized people back here, like pretty easily. Like it's not going to be completely out of the question, like with legroom and general space. And then on top of that, you actually have um, a decent amount of space back here for cargo area as well. Um, I would say just for reference, it's about a full, my forearms uh, depth and uh, those flip down as well for additional storage. This is additional storage underneath here as well, uh, kind of like a separate cargo space, just as big. Those flip down, then you have all that space like a normal, like a normal unit. Pull that back up, good to go. So very, very spacious inside, uh, very luxurious. Buicks are known for a great ride, so overall, um, really, as far as the car itself is concerned, like the, the make, um, can't be it. These are awesome. And just to show you, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and crawl into the back seat and show you how much legroom I have with these chairs right here. So you can see like these chairs, you know, a little bit of legroom. I can sit here. I'm about 6'2", um, and I have a little bit of space here. Um, I'm a little tight, but that's because these seats are all the way up, I think. Um, see if I can figure this out give me a second just take a look up there in the front so I, don't, I thought these yeah these chairs move it must be sorry guys I'm trying to anyway I'm not gonna worry about how to put that seat back right now um, I have enough space to sit right there and then I'm gonna crawl in the back here as well so with the seats where they are right now this is me in the third row I have about a hand's width of distance between my knee and that seat. I can easily fit someone beside me um, right here. And yeah, there's the kind of the look from the back, from the third row. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty spacious back here. I mean, I could take a nap. I could, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm comfortable. I really am. Highlight of the video. You can take a nap in the back seat. <laughs> highlight. Cam says the highlight of the video is you can take a nap in the back seat. Uh, there's two USBs in the back here. You do have your own temp controls for the rear. Um, and the captain's chairs really make it just easy to get in and out of this thing. I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out how to put these seats back for you as well. Um, Cam's going to look look at that while we're while we're doing this. we got all kinds of buttons and stuff here, Cam. I'm sure some one. Oh, there it is. There we go, everybody. So right on the side here. You pull this and then it slides back. So you can adjust the seats accordingly, uh, depending how tall your driver is. Right now the seat is completely all the way down and back. So you're gonna have as little room back there as you're ever gonna have and see. Um, so 
yeah, you can you can adjust them all, and then everyone can be uh, seated seated pretty comfortably. I would say you can fit. I'd say you can fit six adults in here uh, comfortably. You can fit definitely two two parents and four kids uh, extremely comfortably, and everyone will have have a lot of room. So uh, now we're gonna get into the benefits of being inside, um, kind of the features. So go ahead and start here. You have right here your two uh, your two seat controls for your keys. You have uh, all your con window controls and everything there. Auto lights. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going around. Um, here's your windshield wipers, along with your turn signals. Um, right here you have, here's your heated steering wheel button. Um, here's your cruise control settings. Here is your talk to text and your, and your menu controls. Go ahead and turn the, the car on accessory here so you can see the middle screen light up. You have the classic Buick um, light lighted uh, thing there in the middle. You have your IntelliLink. So these are actually touchscreen buttons. They're, they are buttons, but you don't push on, like the, the, the silver pieces are not the buttons themselves. It's uh, it's actually in the middle and it just kind of reads your, reads your hand there. So then the, this is a touchscreen as well. So you can go back, you can go everywhere that you want to go. Now playing AM, FM phone, XM, disc, Pandora, um, Stitcher, whatever the heck that is. Uh, Bluetooth, text, you can set all that stuff up. Uh, when you have your phone connected, those will all be lit up. Um, but yeah, you can see everything like that. And then here's your, uh, to, to select. And then this all controls, I think, believe over here. Yep, so this controls up in here. So you can see all that changing. And that was this button right here. That will control uh, your driving menu. Vehicle information. You can set that as well and go through, see everything, change it to what, change it to whatever you want it to be. And then there's your odometer, trip A, trip B, range, average fuel economy, timer, oops, fuel used, average speed, and then back to zero. So you can really set this up to, to very customize whatever you want it to be. It does have heated seats. It does have your rear windshield wiper, trash control, you can turn your power lift gate off if you want it to be um, for some reason. Uh, it does have dual climate zones, um, no navigation, uh, but you can put, again, if you hook your phone up through Bluetooth, which it does have, um, you can go ahead and uh, do it that way. It'll read through the read through the speakers, uh, which will be really nice. So it would definitely give you the, the navigation effect. And if you already have it on your phone, then you're probably already used to using it. And you know that, um, car navigations you have to pay to update every year where your phone you do not have to pay to update every year we're gonna go ahead now and take a look around see if there's any blemishes on the outside um see if there's any marks or anything like that we want to show you guys we like to be as transparent as possible um with all of our vehicles we want to let you guys know what you're looking at um or what you're coming to look at whenever you're on your way um we do have a little bit of a mark right here uh on the on the gas tank right there very minor. I would say probably can be touched up, honestly, if, if your if your heart desires it, but very minor. Um, that was a piece of fuzz. I thought there was a big cracker, or not crack, but I thought there was a big scratch right there. But it was just a piece of fuzz, so no worries. Uh, continuing around here. A little dirt spot. Dirt spot. Wax. Wax. Dirt spot. I tell you what, guys, for a 15 with 61,000 miles, this is the cleanest car in general that I've seen in a long time. I mean, there's no apologies on the inside. The buttons are all in great shape. Um, there's no, like, wear on anything inside. There's no wear on the seats or the leather. Um, nothing like that. Um, the outside is miraculous. It is, it is incredible. Um, and, I, and I'm not just saying that to be a car guy. But in, in my opinion, and it, my opinion might it doesn't as important as your opinion, I know that because you're the one buying the car, but um, this thing's in great, great shape. If you, if you come and take a look at it, I, I can promise that you will not be disappointed uh, in, in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, yeah, but this is our 2015 Buick Enclave Leather Edition. Um, went over some of the features and benefits and stuff. So I uh, hope you guys found this uh, video useful. And if you need anything um, going forward, and uh, just give us a call or stop by. Um, you can uh, give us a call at 717-485-4224. Uh, talk to me, uh, my name's Kyle. Uh, you can uh, 
or talk to anybody else in the in the sales team. Everyone's here ready to help. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.